Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing how to install a custom recovery on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch from Sprint. This custom recovery is going to allow you to safely install ROMs on your device. So now first of all, you do need to make sure you are rooted. So go ahead and root your device. As you can see, I have super user right there. I have a video showing you how you can root on FI27, uh, which is the build I am running. Let me go ahead and show you that. Go ahead and go into settings, scroll down, about phone. I am on uh, build number FI27, last four digits, letting you know your build number. So this will let you know how to, uh, the latest way to install a custom recovery on FI27. So first of all, what you're gonna need to do is obviously root and then go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video will take you to this website. Shout out to Agat63 right here. Big shout out to him for putting this together for us. This is the first download we need to download. The first one under the links, you will see uh, Agat FI27 repack.tar. Click on that link and download that first file. So where it says tar, you're gonna wanna download that one. It says flash with Odin or mobile Odin. So make sure you click and download that file. And next, you're gonna wanna click on the next link in the description of the video, and it will take you to this website. Shout out to Chainfire. He went ahead and created mobile Odin. Just go ahead and scroll down, keep scrolling down, and you will see an APK file down here for mobile Odin as well. Mo mobile Odin Lite, if you do like Mobile Odin, feel free to check it out in the Play Store. I believe it is $4.99 if you would like to purchase it to support the developer. But uh, yeah, Mobile Odin Lite. So download both of those files. You'll see you need that tar file and the APK. Transfer both of them over to your device. And once you have both of those files on your device, we are going to need to go to our file manager first and install that mobile Odin APK. So go ahead and find it, select it, go ahead and if it says install block, go to settings, check unknown sources, hit OK, go back. Now press mobile Odin again and just hit install. It will go ahead and install the application on your device, hit done. And we can actually back out and then go ahead and find mobile Odin, which is right there now. And it's going to go ahead and check, allow it super user permission. So again, you do need to be rooted, as I said earlier in this video. It's going to de detect your device model. You'll see the screen, it'll come up, says requires an add-on. Just go ahead and hit cancel, and it says only, only kernel flashing is enabled. That's fine, that's what we need to do. So all we have to do is go ahead and select where it says kernel, and then go ahead and select whether you transfer that file over to your internal or external. I transferred it onto my internal. And then you have to select that AGAT FI27 repack tar file that we have put on our device, and that is it. And now all you have to do is hit flash firmware. And then it says your battery is at 50%. A battery level of over 50% is recommended. Are you sure you want to continue? I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. It says do it at your own risk. Again, do follow this video at your own risk, of course. Go ahead and hit continue. MD5 signatures have been detected. You want to verify them. You can go ahead and check them to just double check and make sure the download is not corrupted. So it'll go ahead and flash your kernel for you, and I believe it will automatically reboot your Epic 4G Touch once it is done flashing. Looks like it did. So we will let it boot up. It should boot back up normally. All right, so the phone booted up just fine. You'll see it is loading on up, uh, going through. But now we are going to want to check out that custom recovery that we just installed. So we can just power off our device once again, and we will need to reboot into this AGAT recovery. Once fully powered off, to get into our custom recovery, press and hold volume up and the power button at the same time until the first Samsung screen lights up. So go ahead and press and hold both of them. Once that Samsung screen lights up, go ahead and let go now, and then it should take us into our custom recovery. And here it is. So here is AGAT recovery. We can go ahead and zoom in on it and give it a good run through. So to navigate through it, you want to use the volume up and down um, rockers just to navigate through the custom recovery and the power button is the select option. So uh, after installing a custom recovery, what I always recommend to people is going to backup and restore and make an Android backup. So go to backup and make a backup or you can hit backup to internal SD if you don't have an external SD card, either one works. And then just go ahead and go back once it's done uh, making the Android backup. Just something to, is always safe to have if you're looking to flash ROMs, which is why I'm assuming why you're going to install this custom recovery because you would like to install ROMs on your device. But uh, that's about it. Uh, so that's how to get a custom recovery on FI27 on your Epic 4G Touch. Hopefully, hopefully this video has helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.